Now, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. When BenQ reached out to me to check out their new 4K HDR monitor, I was a little bit skeptical to check it out. But since we haven't worked with BenQ before, I thought it'd be a good idea to try this display out and see what it has in store. Because my first taste at a 4K display, which is my $200 budget Scepter monitor, was less than stellar. And I should have known, a sub $200 4K monitor does not compare at all to what I have right behind me. This thing right here, is a monster for the money. Let's dive into details about this monitor after a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Toasty Deals, a Twitter account made by, well, us to deliver you PC hardware and tech deals every day located right in your Twitter feed. Check the link down below and drop a follow and also mention us on Twitter telling us what kind of deals you are looking for and we will do our best to try to make it happen. So check out Toasty Deals today, link in the description down below. All right, so the BenQ EW3270U, yes, I have to read it off my phone because I have tongue twisted that name so many times, is a 4K HDR monitor at a 60 hertz refresh rate, and it's sitting right behind me. This thing is 32 inches of beautiful glory, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. As I mentioned, this monitor does come with HDR on board, also with a 95% coverage of the DCI-P3 color gamut. The main selling point of this monitor is it's under BenQ's eye care technology, lineup, meaning that this monitor is designed to reduce eye strain for long periods of use. And it does this by doing adaptive things like what Flux does, changing the temperature and reducing blue light that emits from the monitor to kind of reduce the eye strain that comes from the blue light that goes into your eyes. And on first look after unboxing and setting up this monitor, one, the colors just pop on this display, and two, that eye care technology is really impressive. My life revolves around sitting at my desk, working on videos, working working on schoolwork and working on pretty much a bunch of other stuff behind the scenes on this YouTube channel, and I'm staring at a screen a lot. I do do my due diligence of taking breaks from screens and going outside and doing different stuff and coming back in, but having something like this in your setup, it really does help out a ton. Now let's talk about that HDR real quick. This thing does come with HDR on board, which is a nice feature, but my biggest gripe is the lack of really fully supported HDR games out there. Fortnite is definitely not one of them, which it should be, but there's not really any crazy titles out there that fully take advantage of HDR. HDR is a cool addition, just not something that I see as a number one feature for this display. Now there is a button on this display on the far right of the monitor that enables HDR plus BI plus, which is their technology that allows automatic dimming and brightening of a monitor and the different shifting of hues depending on the situation that the monitor is in. This is a really cool technology for those who don't care too much about color accuracy, but in most use cases, if you're a video professional or a Photoshop professional or anything that involves accurate colors, I would suggest turning this feature off along with HDR. This this monitor does come with a lot of color profiles out of the box, and as I mentioned before, the colors on this thing are gorgeous. The past couple of monitors that I've had my chance to review have been budget monitors that come out of the box kinda washed out or a little bit too warm or a little bit too cool. This thing came out looking gorgeous, night and day difference compared to the monitors that I've checked over the past couple of months. Let me talk about the monitor stand real quick. I kind of glanced over it and that kind of tells you all you need to know. The monitor stand is nothing special. It just allows you to do basic tilt functionality and is sturdy enough to hold the monitor up. It does come with VESA mounting, which is probably gonna be the number one option for people who pick up a monitor like this, to throw it in a triple or whatever monitor setup that you have going on and allow you to have the ability to freely move the monitor around as you please. As far as input goes, this monitor comes with two HDMI ports, a display port, and a super speed USB pass-through. It's a cool thing to have if you are using a PC like mine that's further away from your desk and you wanna have a USB pass-through, you do have that option. This monitor does come with speakers on board, but I wouldn't recommend using them because they are kind of tinny, and I know most people either use headphones or use speakers on their setup, but if you're in a situation where you have to have speakers, they will do, I just don't recommend them for your day-to-day -day usage. Now the display type on this panel is VA. VA panel allows you to get the good color accuracy or somewhat close color accuracy of an IPS panel while also getting somewhat lower response times like a TN panel. This is actually a perfect panel choice for this monitor because it fits the whole you can game on the side while you do your work type of display and not have horrible response time and actually be able to play competitively in some titles. Now yes, it's only a 60 hertz display so that does limit you somewhat. So don't expect to be a Fortnite pro on this thing, but you most certainly can enjoy games like Fortnite and whatever other game you want to really play and have a really good experience. 
So what is my conclusion of this monitor? Well, it's one of the best 4K monitors that I've seen, and that's not really saying much because I've only been able to test two 4K monitors, but in terms of the color accuracy, it is one of the best monitors that I've tested. Yes, there are a lot more professional options out there, but they are gonna cost you upwards of $1,000, and the color accuracy on this thing for $599 is by far one of the best values out there. Now, yes, this is no budget monitor by any means. It's a 4K workstation level monitor that also can be used as a slight gaming display. And for those who want a really good gaming display and use their PC all the time, the eye care technology within this monitor will allow you to enjoy those late night gaming sessions and work sessions while not having the horrible eye strain that can ensue from the blue light from other displays. If you're somebody who's on the market for a 4K display and wants something that's gonna be reliable for a working monitor, then I can highly recommend the BenQ EW3270U. And that all wraps this video up here, guys. If you like this video, leave a like down below and comment HDR in the comment section down below if you made it this far. If you are interested in picking up this monitor, there will be links in the description down below. If you buy using some of those links, they will help support the channel, so consider doing so if you do find this review useful and it made you wanna buy the monitor. Also, let me know what you think of the new colors in this video. Um, I'm testing some color grading and I wanna see exactly how these colors look and I would love to know what you all think in the comment section down below. I'm always tweaking videos and trying different things and I hope this turned out really well. Once again, guys, be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel channel, like, comment, and all that sort of fun stuff, and I hope to see you all in the next video, guys. Peace out.